Nicolas Pepe, like I've always said, like if you've been if you've been watching since June, I've been saying I do not expect Pepe to be here. But then I said I would want him to stay because we're not going to get enough money for him. So there's no need of selling him, just keep him and play him in the Europa League. But today news on Pepe has emerged. Sevilla want to sign Pepe. So here's the news um, from um for, from Pepe or uh, from an article talking about Pepe. This is a Spanish um news outlet, the uh, credible Spanish news outlet saying. Sevilla are interested in Nicolas Pepe, but would need the player's price and salary to be reduced <laughs> um, to make the situation affordable for them. Pepe's price would exceed 25 million euros, but Sevilla would offer 18 million euros plus add-ons. That is what I've always been saying. How much are we going to get for Pepe? Because if I have a team today, I would not pay more than 20 million for Pepe. That is what Sevilla is saying. We are not we, unless everything is lowered, especially his salary. I think it gets, I think it gets close to two hundred thousand a week at Arsenal. If he goes to Sevilla, that would be dropped to like a hundred k or something. So it will be cut into half. And Nicolas Pepe right now is he is in his prime right now. He should be in his prime right now because he's around 27, 28 years of age. He still has like another big deal to go, like another four year deal for him before he starts um getting less money and going to USA to play. But the way he's been performing for us the last three seasons, he's not been good enough and teams are not even willing to pay him even 80000 a week. That is the problem. So for him to get a big deal, it's going to be really, really hard for him unless he goes somewhere and really proves himself and gets another deal after that. But as of now, he should be at his prime and he should be, people should be paying a lot of money for him, but people want to pay less than $20 million for him. So Sevilla wants to pay $18 million plus add-ons later on. I'm hearing like $5 million add-ons. So basically 18 million euros then plus like 5 million euros later so that will be like 23 million euros or something like that that is very very little do you know how much you pay for this player so if you convert that 25 million if you convert that 18 million to pounds that is like 14 million pounds we are going to get severe want us want to pay us 14 million pounds one four and we paid for this guy 72 million. How much loss is that? That that is that is a lot. That is like 58 million loss. That is crazy. Like that is a huge loss on our side. That is why I say there is probably no need of selling him. You just keep him. But if they are willing to pay that 25 million euros, I would sell him very very quickly. Because if he stays, if Pepe stays this season, I know some of you want Pepe to stay. But if he stays this season and has another poor season. We are not going to get even five million for him next season. We are going to lose him on a free, like we are going to lose with the way we lost Aubameyang, like I said. Because if he has another poor season next time, there is no one who's going to pay more than eight million for him, and then we are going to sell him like we are selling the way we let William go or something for someone who sold seventy-two million. So you have to think really carefully. Would you rather just let him go right now for that um, like twenty million euros? Just cut, cut your losses and forget about him. Just move on from him. Or do you think he can really prove himself next season? Do you think he should stay? Would you take that gamble? Would you try and keep him next season and see how he does? But remember, if he stays and does poorly and Atita doesn't like him again and doesn't play him again, next season when he has like one year remaining on his contract, I don't know when his contract is ending, we are not going to get more than 10 million for him. He's going to leave like we are buying a player from Portsmouth or Nottingham Forest or something. He's going to leave for very minimal um, amounts of money. So... That's the latest on Pepe. Sevilla looking to buy him, but they want him to drop the wages from like a 200k a week to like 100k a week. And then they also want Arsenal to lower the asking price from 25 million euros to very, very, um, to like 18 million euros plus add ons for later. So either way, it's a loss. Like this is a player we signed for 72 million and you're letting him go for very, very cheap. Uh, would you consider a loan deal? I've not had a team asking for a loan deal, but hey what can we do man what can we do we for personally if they give us that 25 million euros i would take him i would take that money as quickly as possible man is it has not worked out let's be honest the paper we expected the paper that we signed for 72 million i was expecting him to score 20 goals and assist 10 times that first season do the same in the second season and most of you would still most of you would still say paper doesn't get a chance he doesn't play no Pepe has played more than 100 games for Arsenal. That is enough chances. 100 and like 116 games to be specific. That is a lot of games. Those are three full seasons. Yes, last season, 
he was coming off the bench a lot of times. I, I even I even excused him and uh, like I said, I even said, fine, the 2020 season, there was COVID, there was a lot of problems, it affected everyone. Maybe maybe it wasn't the, the perfect time for Pepe to show himself and he still did well after COVID. But last season, you could tell. Yes, I doesn't really trust him. There's a couple of times where we were losing to Newcastle and Ateta would rather bring in a defender than bring in Pepe. That tells you a lot of things. Like we need a goal. Pepe is on the bench, but Ateta doesn't bring him on. It, sh- it shows you that he doesn't trust him. But then there's a couple of times when Pepe has actually come on, like, like against Aston Villa away when we won 1 0. He came on for 20 minutes and he gave away the ball three times. Two of them, it almost we almost considered a goal from. One of them, he gave away the ball like on his own half and he shot the ball and hit the post. I remember it very well. Douglas Lewis hit the post. And the second one, he gave away a free kick against Aston Villa away from home. You can check the highlights on YouTube or something. He gave away the, 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 the free kick for Aston Villa in the 94th minute and they almost scored from it. It was almost 1-1 because of him. And it was not something, everyone makes mistakes, but those kind of mistakes, you have to ask yourself, it, it was not like it was a mistake where maybe it tripped or fell by mistake, no. It was trying to dribble past players. The one thing that I always complain about, you cannot try to dribble past players in your own box. You, that is suicide, you cannot do that. And he's not done it once, he's done it a lot of times. So those are my reasons, man. For me, if I they give us 25 million euros, I would sell him as quickly as possible, let's be honest. I, I would like to know what you guys think. Would you still keep him? Let me know, but you can see. Pepe is in the market, but only Sevilla have said they want him. Right now, if you say Arsenal want to sell Saka, I can tell you right now, there will be like 30 teams that will want Saka. You'll hear Bayern Munich want Saka. You'll hear Real Madrid want Saka. Chelsea want Saka. You'll hear Leverkusen want Saka. Roma, all these guys. If you do the same with Martinelli, you'll hear the same teams wanting him. But if you put Pepe in the market like we have right now, how many teams want him? It is only Sevilla and he's been in the market for a month now. Only Sevilla want him. We've not heard anything about Bayern, Real Madrid wanting Pepe. And that is a huge problem because the time we signed him, a lot of teams wanted him. Man United, Real Madrid, Barcelona, all those guys wanted him. Now, there's no team that wants him. And what is even worse is he's only 27 years of age. He still has like another 10 years to go. And his career has just gone down. Like you cannot, there's no one who's going to pay 20 million for him. That is the problem.